Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be talking about something or some things that I think EA really missed out on in the Blitz promo. Now usually I don't really ask you guys to go ahead and share a video but I am going to ask you guys to please go ahead and share this video if you guys have Twitter or any other way you can possibly share this with EA. I'm basically doing this video just to kind of give a review on the program and to hopefully let EA know what we want to see so that hopefully in newer uh, or later programs we should be getting later in the game or possibly next year's blitz promo it can be a little bit better so please go ahead and share the video as well as like the video and sub if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel closing it on 50,000 subscribers to so make sure you guys hit that sub button but with that being said before i get into the things that i think ea should have done differently with the blitz promo I wanted to get into some things that I think EA actually did pretty good with the Blitz promo. So first off, taking a look at the Blitz players that we actually got during the promo. I think the players that we received were actually not too bad in terms of the actual stats in the card and who they are. Mariota is an okay card. Vic Beasley, I feel like this card is a bust to be honest. I mean, he's got 83 finesse move and 76 power move with 83 block shed. He's got good speed, doesn't have good block shed, not a good pass rusher. Barrett is okay, 91 speed, 91 excel. Uh, I like the McKinnon card because he is injured and this probably be like one of his only cards of the year with 93 speed, 93 excel. Evan Ingram, of course, another good one with 89 speed. And I really like the fact they actually added in uh, a rookie premiere to this card or to this promo because everyone got an 89 Roquan Smith that actually had his rookie premiere. So I want to give them big props for that one, especially since the card is really, really good with 88 speed, 90 acceleration. Getting into the bigger players, though, uh, the limited time Lamar Jackson was definitely not a bad idea uh, with 93 speed. I wish the throwing stats a little bit better. Maybe made him like a, you know, make him like a 90, I think would have been a little bit better. I mean, it's an 85 overall Lamar Jackson. People still bought it for crazy amounts of coins. Jason McCourty as well. Uh, Shady definitely deserved a card. I just wish he had a power up to go with it. Deshaun Watson was a great pick. Lamarcus Joyner. Zeke was a must do for this promo, I feel like, with the fact that Literally, he should have gotten like two, two weeks in a row. Zeke definitely was a good pick. Miles Garrett as well. I really do enjoy like the, the picks they chose for the set players were honestly pretty good. And then you have Quan Alexander, another good user middle linebacker, Tyreek Hill, Deion Sanders. Now the limiteds, I got to say the first two limiteds were kind of bad. Deshaun Jackson, Tredavious White. No one's going to get Tredavious White when you have Deion Sanders coming out. The card is 90 speed. Deshaun Jackson, Tyreek Hill. <laughs> That's all I got to say. But Todd Gurley, Jadavion Clowney were definitely two very good picks. So for the Blitz promo, I feel like they did the players right. And I also like the fact they did, you know, every eight hours you logged in, you'll be able to go ahead and get yourself uh, a free Blitz token. And then, of course, they also had the one in the store with the 500 coin for a Blitz token, which might still be here. Uh, I don't know if it's actually still in the store. No, it's gone now. But that was a pretty good idea. And also the solo challenges with the daily solos. And I 110% loved the solo battle blitz because that was an easy way to go ahead and get a bunch of tokens. There was, of course, that glitch where everyone got like Dion Sanders. Some of them, uh, some people got like a bunch of blitz tokens. Sadly, they only got Dion's. But that really helped you out if you happen to get that. The Solo Battle Blitz was very, very nice with this promo to get all those tokens and also get a bunch of coins, a bunch of packs. I definitely like that. And the Solo Challenges in general were really, really good to get some tokens because those were daily solos. There was long string of solos. You could get a lot of free tokens and actually complete like Tyreek Hill, uh, Zeke, basically any of them and plus some extras just from playing solo battles and playing the solo challenges and plus getting like the free daily ones so for that aspect i feel like they did a pretty good job with this promo and i do have to say some of the limited time bundles like the in my opinion uh the best bundle is probably the legends fantasy pack bundle for the entire promo besides that though let's go ahead and get into some stuff that i think they definitely missed out on so the first thing i want to talk about obviously is going to be the bundles. We did not have that many good bundles. Now, I gotta say, 
Mostly all of the 8 p.m. Uh, special Blitz pack offers were really, really good. Uh, we had, you know, the Fighter Fantasy pack, the Team of the Week boss. We had that really, like, extremely good value, to be honest. I'm surprised they did it. This pack, which I believe was like 3,000 points, literally one-fourth the price for a 40 gold premium pack bundle. The 8 p.m. Blitz bundles were extremely good, and I definitely like them. But the noon ones... I don't even think I got any of them except for the Legend Fantasy one. And then the Midnight ones as well really were not that good. And carrying on with the bundles, and I did also ask on Twitter, and a ton of you guys said this, coin bundles with the Blitz promo. I feel like if they would have added a coin option to these promos, or at least not even all of them, because I understand it's the Blitz promo, it's Black Friday, it's about spending money. You're going to, obviously you want to make money off this promo. But, just give us one bundle a day. Maybe it doesn't even have to be the same bundle you're going to put in the store. But if you put in, say, Saturday, right? The Legend Fantasy Bundle. Obviously, it was 12,000 points. You got a bunch of, you know, you got Blitz tokens. You got the Legend Fantasy. You got the full Legend. You could do that. You know, that's perfectly fine to keep that 12,000 because, of course, you've also got all the Blitz tokens and stuff, which literally allowed you to go ahead and do, you know, a Tyree Kill, a Miles Garrett, a Zeke, whatever. But also add in a coin option. And maybe it doesn't even have to be that same bundle. You could have added in that bundle and gave us a four times legend bundle like this one for 5,850 points. And it could have been, you know, give you some extra blitz tokens. And if legend fantasy packs cost 120,000 coins per, why not just give us a four times legends bundle with a topper and then some tokens? You literally could have just made that maybe 500,000 coins, just 20,000 coins more to get the legends player topper and plus all the blitz tokens. And I bet a lot of people would have been happy with that. Or you could give us, you know, the limited time packs like the Fire Fantasy pack. That was twenty dollars. Make the pack two hundred thousand coins. There is a limit. There, I mean, you're probably gonna make coins off that's so maybe three hundred thousand coins. So you have to pull something a little bit better to actually make some coins. Like you can't get the bad legend, the Harvest player. You probably would have lost coins on if it cost three hundred k. So you basically would have to get a better legend. But I'm sure people would rather have spent the coins and took in the risk on those packs. And in general, just give us some more limited time packs with coins that's the number one thing that i saw on twitter people complaining about is that we didn't have any discounted coin packs like this one the 40 times gold premium bundle make it 3,000 points and I, these don't even have a coin value so it's kind of hard to determine what to do for those but it is twice this so 15,000. make it like a 300,000 coin bundle a little bit discounted you get the three elites and you get the 40 gold premium packs i'm sure some people would have bought that so that's the number one thing that I saw a lot of people complained about, and I feel like they definitely should have implemented into this, even if it's only with some specific bundles, none of the limited times, like the Fire Fantasy, uh, the Team League Boss, whatever, just give us coins next year. Now, something else that I saw, and a lot of people said this, personally, I don't care that we got Deion Sanders. I mean, I like the card. Uh, I don't think it was a problem that we have Deion Sanders as the master, but some people really did not like the fact that we have Deion Sanders as the master who we, is already in the game. They wanted to see somebody new. Like, usually it's Night Train Lane, but Night Train Lane was already for the uh, the Night Guardian promo, which is kind of weird that he was in that promo. Definitely expected him for, you know, the Black Friday promo, which we always had. But we got Deion Sanders instead. Personally, I don't care. I'm not upset about it, but some people were. Also, the Blitz Master Collectibles. If you guys were not able to go ahead and complete Deion Sanders, yes, you can quick sell them. For 1,000 coins each, but it seems like a lot of people think that's not enough. They really want to have some other sets to do. So adding maybe some master disc collectible, uh, you know, you can get a Legend Fantasy pack, uh, a Game Changer pack, something else to do with these collectibles, or maybe just some lower overall master players, like a 90 overall here, uh, a 92, 93, something else to do with these collectibles. A lot of people are complaining about that. Personally, I think it's okay that they have a 1,000 coin quick sell and you could go and do Deion Sanders, but some people thought that you should be, you know, some other sets to do. Now on to the final couple things. I know a lot of people, you guys probably have to work, you know, some people work the night shift, some people get off work, you have other stuff to do. Some people were really upset about the fact they were not able to get any of the limited time packs that were in the store now i'm not exactly sure how you would be able to fix that with them being limited time packs and they are super super good uh i feel like if you were on at the right time then obviously it helps be able to get the packs they came out at 8 p.m usually uh, i even got a error yesterday when it came to the fire fantasy pack so i actually almost did not get that pack 
Luckily, I was able to back out of time and come back in and actually get that, but I know some people were not able to do so. So maybe just make some limited time packs to have a couple of hours on them to go ahead and pick up and ensure that more people are to get some limited time packs. I'm sure you could have made even more money, to be honest, because people would have bought them if they were actually there when maybe they got out of their sports. I know some of you guys probably get off school, you have sports to go to, whatever, you have a sporting event, uh, but sadly... Some people were not able to get them. Also, the third solo challenge in the solo battle, or not the solo battle, the uh, Blitz solo challenges, apparently was a full game. I actually didn't really play them that much, uh, but the third game was a full game, and a lot of people were complaining about that. The number one thing that I saw also besides all that, or the final thing I'm going to get into, is going to be Deion Sanders. His price is super cheap. Now, he has 659,000 coins, 92 overall Deion Sanders, as of right now, is currently going for 552k that means 95 overall Deion sanders is only a hundred thousand coins more so something that i saw people suggest they do and actually i don't think it's too bad of an idea limited time pulls have a 500 000 coin quick sell someone said Deion sanders should have had at least a 750 000 coin quick sell so that his price wouldn't tank so much and he would be at least because it's 750,000 coin quick sell you wouldn't want to sell your Deion Sanders for any less than maybe like 850k and even that you're not gonna make much profit so 850,000 coins should have been around Deion Sanders price I would have liked to see him a little bit more expensive and the reason why is because you know we did Tyreek Hill I had to do Miles Garrett Tyreek Hill and Zeke just to be able to get Deion Sanders who's now is only 650,000 coins and honestly going into this promo I thought Deion would be at least like 1.2 1.3 million coins for a while sadly he crashed really really hard so that is everything I have to bring to you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you guys share the video and smash the like button down below. Let me know down below what else you guys would have liked to see in the Blitz promo. Thank you guys for all the suggestions on the comments, on Twitter, in my DMs. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.